Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all, my people. We are still on this update of uh, Mazin and the Kano versus Nigerian government. Now they see what they haven't, so it's really very painful that we find ourselves in this. So unfortunate. We have a government to disobey its own law. We have a government who do not care about the laws of the land, the laws of the government. The law of the country it doesn't bother them. They do things how they want it, anyhow they feel it. And how you feel it is your business. That is what this APC led by President Mamadou Buhari Pratis. Record that on the 13th of October, Mazen Nambikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, was released, he was discharged and acquitted by the appeal called judgment. Who said the Nigerian government should let him go? Boom. Within 24 hours, AGF Malami said no. Nam the Kanu cannot go. The Nigerian government is still looking for more charges to press against him. And so the matter still day to day. It will shock you that Nam the Kanu is really very sick in the DSS custody. And all this sickness when it is sick. According to his lawyers, they said it was caused by the tortures that was meted on him in Kenya and Nigeria here in DSS custody. Nnamdi Kano is done. Once again, the Oruwa, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, yesterday urged President Muhammad Buhari to immediately release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Nnamdi Kano in compliance with the ruling of the Court of Appeal, stated that Kano's head was deteriorating in the Department of State Services, DSS, the group's national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Ongubiko, has said. In a statement inquired of Jubilee of Sudan comment by Kano, was the reason he is being denied freedom in Contravention of an existing court order, Onubiko asked the Nigerian government. Record that Buhari, in a, a documentary show shown on Friday night, had said he did not find it funny that many Nigerians believed the speculation that he was dead and had been replaced with a lookalike named Jubiri from Sudan. Yes, people said, I am from. I am somebody from Sudan and it did not bother I did not bother with the name. Nigerians have mischievous ways of explaining themselves. President stated. When asked if he found the rumor funny, Buari submitted, No, it is not funny, because those who made those statements just want to be cheeky. They want to distract attention from the main issue. Ongubiko said Buhari's confession on the comment by Kano, which gained traction during the president's first term, when he spent months attending to his health in the United Kingdom, could be one of the major reasons the Nigerian leader has decided to keep Kano in DSS custody 19 months after he was arrested and brought into the country for Kenya. The Oriwa boss recalled that during a meeting with Ebony State Stakeholders Forum at Government House Abakeleke in May, Buari had said a political solution to Kano's drivers where was impossible and insisted that only the court would decide his fate. He wondered why the agitator is still being in total disobedience to a subsisting court uh, or judgment. Onwubiko continued. With Buhari's latest confession on the story of Jubilee of Sudan, one begins to ask what is fueling his hatred for Namdekano so much so that he rejected an appellate court judgment freeing Kano and has remained intransigent even when Kano's health has deteriorated dangerously. One of Kano's lawyers, Aloy Jumako, on Saturday said the IPOP leader needs heart surgery for a valve replacement. It is only proper for the federal government to release 
the detained agitator so he can emerge he can get emergency medical attention hmm. well the truth is that right from the beginning president Muhammad Buhari have not you know denied this kind of um, hatred you know he have for Indigo because with the way the whole thing is going he should understand that Nnam the can is still in DSS custody is dangerous it's dangerous is really dangerous honestly speaking this is getting out of hand so. and nothing should happen to to namdi kano yes nothing should happen to him now the federal government are pretending not to know what is going on with kano kano is seriously sick and they uh, they don't want to let him go this man had been released by by competent court of jurisdiction you are still holding him and true true that confession by president Muhammad Buhari shows that he is really very hungry with the high pop leader but that is not the issue here he just have to release Mazen Namdekano yes he just have to release him now because with what with what they are actually pushing right now god forbid may nothing happen to my and i even they wonder how nigerian government will be able to control this because this man was not supposed to be there he does not supposed to be in dss custody anymore he's really sick and you are denying him his freedom this is a man that has been discharged the same you that said you are not going to interfere now you have taken the chairman seat in this matter is unfortunate. I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.